What's up YouTube? I just want to do a quick review of a couple of axes that I have. Um, they come from Cold Steel. Um, these are very, very modified. Um, something I have to say about the Cold Steel um, Tomahawks, which is what these are. They do not come finished. Um, you can use them when you get them. But if you want them to be good, it's going to take some work. And what I mean by work is they don't come sharp. They, they come with a very basic, basic, basic edge. It's barely workable sometimes. Sometimes it can be good. Um, just depends. But the actual handle that they use doesn't fit to the blade. And then they use a little screw to set it so it's just a, a terrible fit it's a terrible fit but you can just get sandpaper or a file or whatever and just work the handle down so that it fits well and and in my case i i did that and then um also for this one i use some um some kind of kind of like a shoelace and tied it down with also some leather um uh, leather wrapping the leather string kind of um just tied it down so that it, it it i fit it to i fit the head to the um handle and then i wrapped it so that it, it just stays and then same thing with this but instead with this one um i use some kind of metal steel uh, wire and some duct tape. Um, the handles I kind of, uh, I, I completely just messed with. Um, this is all leather wrapping. I used some shoe polish and a lighter and just kind of stained it with that. I um, also used a magic marker which um, I used a little bit of water and a paper towel to dull it. So it didn't look like magic marker, it looked more like ash. Um, or like a burned charcoal-y appearance uh, to make little runes on this one. Um, also, this one came completely like lacquer black, like shiny, shiny black. I, use sandpaper and stuff like that to file uh, kind of wear away at it a bit and just haven't really touched up on it at all since i've had this thing for a couple of years and it's almost kind of rusty now honestly which kind of sucks but oh well um I, I i mean they they work really well um they're good for throwing especially this one this one's nice and straight I mean, the, the way that I did the handle, it's nice and tight. I used wax on the leather to preserve it and make it kind of more durable. Um, you just kind of rub a, rub a candle or whatever wax thing you have into the leather. And then just take a lighter to it to melt the wax into it. And it just, it toughens, it toughens up the material. Um, but yeah. A lighter and shoe polish got this kind of color. And then this one, same thing, shoe polish, um, and the lighter, just kind of give it a little bit of character. Um, this one came with a clear coat, I kind of filed, uh, I, I just sandpapered it off and gave it a more natural look with like an acid wash. Um, and then on each of them. I give them these little kind of teeth mark cutouts that uh, give it a little bit of character. Also, I put a nail, steel nail, into the head right there. Kind of bent it around a little bit, make it look unique, give it a little character. Um, this one, I also cut out some runes in the paint kind of dull, um, cut a couple teeth out of the file, and then 
I, I bought one for my buddy and he hit hit the head of the axe with his when he was throwing it at a tree and mine was already stuck in it so there's that kind of piece taken out um but like I said, the the biggest problem with these is you really have to um, take it apart, take the axe head off, take the screw out, and file down the handle, and just fit the head to it and, until you get that good, like, solid kind of ring. Um, that ring. Yeah, it... It takes a bit of work, but for $30, I mean, oh well. It's cheap as hell. It takes, like, a couple hours work. And you can get something that looks, like, pretty authentic. Pretty cool. Um, so it's not a bad buy. It's not the best. I mean, there, there are probably better options for more money, but... Uh, the steel is good. I mean, it doesn't dull too bad. It's... About as good as you can expect with an axe. It's a uh, 1055 or 1050 steel. Um, not heated too hard because you don't need an axe to be like that. You want it to flex a little bit because of how hard the impacts are. But it, it's overall pretty good. Not too bad from cold steel except for the fact that their fit and finish was terrible as it always is. Um, that's about it. A little bit of a little bit of love, tender love and care, and these things can be pretty, pretty fucking cool. Um, that's about it, though. It's up to you if you want to, you know, get it if you're thinking about it. That's all.